Hello there, YouTube. This is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with Tactical Breach Wizards. Continuing our series and run through here. Uh, music is getting pretty loud, so we're just going to go ahead and get into the... The Air Quotes home base, a.k.a. Uh, Zan's mom's house. You know that you've got the right heroes to save the world when they're literally homeless and poor. Like, that's that's how every good, like, story starts. Like, let's be honest. Like, Lord of the Rings is okay, but Frodo Baggins owns a house? Not quite the same. I'm just saying. Anyways. Um, we gained a perk point last time and we took it in support of fire which is once per turn when a teammate uses their standard attack which I am guessing for Jen is her static blast then he will follow up with support of fire which actually deals one damage and knocks back one and I don't know if this is automatic or if we get to choose to do it but um I don't know. We took it because it was a little bit um, Giga Brain, and we're trying to tell ourselves that we're Giga Brain. Otherwise, we are going to the map. We have no other Pepe Sylvias to connect here. And so we're going to go to extraction here. Here? Move on. Up at the top right. Reading comprehension is important. Damn, blood scrying is dope. Oh my god, I love Zan's mom.
Understand now. Okay. Taking the Ma's house. Oh, jeez, we're gonna have to do, uh, re rearrange all of this. This is just messy as hell. So we're gonna... Uh, perfect. God, that is so good. Ma's gonna be proud. Let's move. Let's do some strategery. Oh, yeah.
can be replayed at any time. Um, yeah, we'll skip those. Dreaming about combat scenarios to build self-confidence. Traffic warlock all the way in the back. Probably gonna need to push him out of a window. Um, we can hit three people. Knock back three to all adjacent targets if damaged. Oh, that's even better. Undo. I'm gonna go ahead and um, grab Jen. I'm gonna give a little. Are you not LOS? You are not LOS. Okay, we're gonna move inside. Chain lightning. Brap. Brap. Me scoozy. Build self confidence. How near these load screens could probably be better. Okay, we're looking at extra stuff. That's fine by me. However, Bam! Look at that drip. Very, very well. Moving on. is incoming knockback by that much so hold up what happens if I knock it back because I do have access to knockback too armor reduces incoming damage 4 health 3 damage knockback so we're gonna have to utilize a lot of uh Ah, understood. Prevent two reinforcements in total. There's only one, so I'm guessing that means that we got a seal reinforced door, like, almost immediately. Finish by the end of the turn three. Okay. So how much can... Jen even move. You can't even get over there. 
So in order for you to be able to get there, we might even have to use Gale Grenade to pop us over one. One. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, maybe? We gotta bump her one. But she also has to take cover, so it's probably here, I'm guessing. And next turn, we're gonna have to uh, nudge her. Or she just takes the damage, but it's gonna cause knockback and probably work against our, uh, our goals here. Oh, I see, that's a window. Get defenestrated. Take cover. Let's grab that extra mana. back to damn we can do that You're a little tricksy right there. Well, let's keep with the current plan. Well, there's three people here. We don't have to get here on this turn. But, you know we gonna... I'm gonna have to give you a little bit of a love boop. Turn off turret, seal the door. We're gonna have to take cover. The question is, do we wanna do anything else? I could knock you back to, next to the turret, knock you back again into the turret. That'd do two damage. Then when you come up, you would be willing to, uh, or not willing, able. What does this even do? You, my friend, are scuffed. Okay, we can do this in three turns. Homeboy, give me another action, bro. Just trust me.
Oh, buddy, you gotta work at least a little bit more than that. And now false premonition of yourself which expires at the end of the C phase. Enemies believe it's real. All right, end of turn two. All teammates full health.
How are you going to get through all this in three turns? Especially this guy right here. We're probably going to have to use False Prophet in order to pop that. Unless, of course, we can hack uh, this turret to get him to shoot him. That would certainly do it. You're just looking to get knocked back into there. This hasn't started yet. We've got some time. We're not required to have everybody full health. I think our predictive bolt is like right here. Oh, that's even better. For real? Okay. Back it up. Now you're not even going in that direction. We're really gonna do something like this. Come on, man. Perhaps we gotta go the exact opposite way here. We gotta put you here. Oh, wrong person. You actually won't be... Huh, okay. Sure we're gonna get this in three turns. 
going to send you in. Hack the turret. Get rid of that target. You're going to take care of you. Do you need to be full health? No. Turn two, we got time. So we'll just get in position over here. Oh, hold up. What about this guy? the laptop. We done. Movement is restricted and he'll lose one health at the end of every turn. Hmm. Really not a fan of that guy all the way over there. Yo, your movement is indeed hella restricted. Well, you need to be in cover. Yeah, because you can't even get in range. This line here would allow you to see and do a predictive shot there. But, in order to do that, we'd have to set you up here, which means that you're going to get shot by a turret. We could always false profit out. Yeah, false profit isn't a bad idea. However, we're going to have to use like a lot of resources to plug this door in order to get there. Is that worth it? Maybe. How are we going to get you nudged, though? That's the big thing. I think what we need to do is we need to rewind. You need to be the person breaching. Redeploy, that's what it is. There we go. By the way, did you know that Xan is poisoned? Got it. Okay. Okay, that doesn't actually affect your movement. We're just entering the room. All right. Well, it was an idea. So now we gotta ask what's more important. 
I think it's blocking this door regardless. Which means you need to get here, get bumped. Gale grenade. I don't think we get this door. Not that we can't. It's just gonna cost us too much. Let's try it though. get his own guy I'm guessing this is instant though so that means that if we were to do this what happens if you three shot this it knocks back first you still haven't used your three bolt so get here, you get here, why aren't you using, excuse me, your perk? I am a fool. Okay. Going back over here. Chain lightning is to knock back. So if we're going to be a fool, let's continue to be a fool. So it happens one frame after. So since we bounced to this turret, he actually did sniper shot him. Interesting. Screw man, this almost works. I mean, this will work. That's not a problem. And you're gonna gale grenade here. Seal that door. Take cover. You two are going to take cover. The question is, do we knock back here? Is that dope? Oh, she already used an action. So we would have to use a mana. From you to time boost. And then. You know what? I'm not sure if that's good. <laughs> I think I want this out of the way.
There we go. Take cover. Take cover. Nothing happens during 4C. We're out. Oh! <laughs> okay. Then if you were to three shot burst her, she'd actually end up there. Damn. This woman would be super slick. So that's not happening. So we might as well instead move here. Because a target moved in front of you? Fascinating. So wait. <laughs> oh baby, okay. Okay. Oh boy, do we got it. Oh! We're done. Boom. Damn.
<laughs> it's usually a clear sign. Oh man, we got sandwiches? Let's go. Tagging yourself in the photo, that's me, the necromancer. Perk point, strong finish. Plus two knockback the final target seems actually pretty good. Once per turn, refresh your move after firing. That seems, uh, pretty good. An extra use of the Gale Grenade is also pretty nice. Refreshes the move of any friendly targets in the blast. Jeez, this would have been great last round. Thank you. If thrown directly onto an enemy, lightning strikes them for two damage. Whoa. Gale Grenade is dope. However, I like the movement options here. What have we got over here? Boost all targets within one, one tile radius. Wow. Both of these are pretty dang good. Uses your main attack. Does that also mean that it can uh, utilize a port of fire? Because that'd be pretty freaking dope. Especially with another plus one damage. Kind of like sending it out in order to uh, interact with things. Negates the immediate need for movement elsewhere. Time bomb also seems interesting. I just don't know how often we're going to be in a one tile radius. All of these have been close quarters so far, so that might actually be quite good. And I'm guessing we're getting um, banks in the next mission here. Right now, I think two uses of Gale Grenade is probably the best thing that we can do. Refreshing Jolt is also quite useful, but if we uh, are using uh, Zan's uh, useful image, then that's not really necessary. Or at least it feels that way. So I think we're going to go refresh... Excuse me? No limit to how many times Refreshing Jolt can trigger per turn? Oh, baby! Dude, we can be schmoovin'. We're gonna take useful fiction. That is our changes, and... Zan can finally put on the whiz tack. There we go. We're legit now. Anyways, uh, hopefully... Um watching this has been entertaining if you have any feedback whatsoever be it questions comments concerns miss play alerts be sure to put those down in the comments below and until next time i will catch you guys around